from the standpoint of the fridge end, but before we do, we're going to have to take a detour. This detour, uh, you know, may take a couple of sessions, um, but heck, these detours are kind of something that I think that, that makes it fun and a little bit, uh, uh, you know, uh, unpredictable. Uh, we've talked and we've heard about, uh, we haven't we haven't talked about it, but, but uh, there's been a lot of uh, discussion uh, thrown around, and everybody's heard the word the modes. So we're really going to have to take a kind of a quick look at them uh, uh, to be able to really uh, digest this uh, much deeper. Okay. Now, <clears throat> many of you are familiar with the modes to a lot of varying degrees. Um, we haven't really actually discussed them yet in in this uh, forum or in this uh, uh, corner of the forum, but uh, we uh, uh, actually have, I know that's a contradiction, and we actually know a great deal about them, which is going to be revealed uh, in a, right now. Okay. Now, the modes are simply uh, the idea that you're taking a scale, any scale, in this case we're talking about the major scale, and uh, each scale tone represents a mode, okay? So in the key of C, the seven modes are, uh, the, actually in any major key, the seven modes are the one uh, is Ionian, the two is Dorian, the three is Phrygian, the four is Lydian, the fifth is Mixolydian, the sixth is Aeolian, the seventh is Locrian, and the uh, uh, the eighth or one is right back to the beginning Ionian. Okay. Now, when you play a C scale and you view it from the perspective, again we're using this idea of perspective of the C to the C, C D E F G A B C. Uh, are looking at that C as being uh, the Ionian mode. Now, you can take those same notes, and we've chosen C, we use a lot of C examples uh, uh, because there's no sharps or flats, but I would encourage you to, to try this in a lot of other keys. But if you take the, the second degree of the scale, the Dorian, now, if you play the same order of intervals that I just played, okay, Whole step, whole step, half step, up a step, whole step, whole step, half step. If I do that on D, then I'm going to get D, do, a D Ionian. That's Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Mi, Do. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Mi, Do. Back to C Ionian. But if I hold all of the notes, with no sharps or flats, so that I'm just playing the C scale from D to D, then I get the D Dorian mode. Do, and it's not Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So any longer. It's Re, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do, Re. Okay, D to D. The same thing would uh, gives me the Dorian. If I went to Mi, and started on the E, but kept all the notes, no sharps or flats, so I'm essentially playing the C scale, then I would have E Phrygian. E, F, G, A, B, C, E, E. If I go up to the next step, F, keep all the notes, no sharps or flats, play the C scale from F to F, I get F Lydian. F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F. Same with G to get the Mixolydian. I just play G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. The 
the same with the A. Aeolian. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. And the same with the B, the Locrian. B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B. Okay. Now, you see what I've done is I've played the C scale over and over again. The only thing that I've done is change the perspective of where, or, or not just the perspective, but change where I start. You know, in, it, by moving the perspective to the different um, uh, tones in the scale, that's how you uh, uh, produce the modes. So another way to say it is simply uh, 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 a Dorian scale is just a C scale from D to D. A Phrygian scale is a C scale from uh, E to E, and so on. Now, a lot of people think that uh, that's really all there is to it. And uh, they'll say, oh yeah, I know the modes, because they do know that you can play the major scale from any degree uh, back to the starting point, and they know that if you play a major scale, it doesn't matter what key it's in. Uh, if you start on the third and play up to the third, or start on the third and play down to the third, then you're playing a Phrygian. If you start on the sixth and play up uh, to the sixth and down to the sixth, so to speak, then you're in the Aeolian. Uh, and so they think they have a good knowledge of the modes. But the modes are much more uh, complex than that, and uh, we'll come back in the next session and, and look at some of their complexities. The uh, neat thing that's going to happen here is you're going to see that uh, if you've been following along in these sessions, you already know the complexities, and you're really going to like that.